Table view is a view for displaying scrollable lists of data or choices where there are rows that don't share the same template. Unlike list view, table view does not have the concept of an item source, so items must be manually added as children. Table view is useful when presenting a list of settings, collecting data in a form, or showing data that is presented differently from row to row like numbers, percentages and images. Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. In this video lesson, you will learn the following. 1. Create a Xamarin Forms table view. 2. Create a custom cell. Now let's open the Visual Studio and do some coding. Let's run the app first to see how it looks. Here is the structure of a table view. It is organized into sections. At the root of the table view is the table root, which is parent to one or more table section instances. Each table section consists of a heading and one or more view cell instances. Table view also exposes the intent property, which can be set to any of the table intent enumeration members, such as data, form, menu, and settings. The table intent value you choose may impact how the table view appears on each platform. Even if there are no clear differences, it is the best practice to select the table intent that most closely matches how you intend to use the table. In addition, the color of the text displayed for each table section can be changed by setting the text color property to a color. The table view also comes with built-in cells for collecting and displaying information. Although list view and table view can use all of the same cells, switch and entry cell are the most relevant for a table view scenario. Switch cell is the control to use for presenting and capturing an on or of or true or false state. It defines the text on and on color properties which are also bindable. Switch cell also exposes the on change event allowing you to respond to changes in the cell state. While entry cell is useful when you need to display text data that the user can edit. It defines the keyboard, label, label color, placeholder, text, horizontal alignment, and vertical alignment. The entry cell also exposes the complete event, which is fired when the user hits the done button on the keyboard while editing text. When the built-in cells aren't enough, custom cells can be used to present and capture data in a way that makes sense for your app. Now, let's add a custom cell to the app. So here, I added a stack layout with image, slider, and label, that are arranged vertically. 
I also bind the slider value to the label and display its current value when the slider's value changes. Let's run the app again. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone!